is the fifth estate winning headlines, broadcasting from Nairobi, Kenya, and brought to you by the Fort Hall School of Government. In this segment, we summarize some of the headlines that you might have missed this morning, and we also take a look at the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Today is the 4th of October 2019, and I am DM. I am JM. And I am GK, and in case you missed the headlines, here they are. In the standard, mm -hmm. bank fights to get back 1 billion shillings from Ruto Hotel. Mm -hmm. In the Daily Nation, how companies hide in havens to avoid mm -hmm. tax. And in the star, KRA freezes accounts of 11 universities. Mm -hmm. Guess who's money, back? Money, money, money. <laughs> in William the star, Ruto. Yes. DP so in back. this particular story, yeah. I think it's the third or the fourth William Ruto corruption story yeah. that we're hearing yes. this week. This week. Yeah. In this particular one case, the bank is KCB, mm -hmm. and it wants to get back 1 billion shillings from the Ruta Hotel Western because Western had borrowed money against the land upon yeah. which it stands. Yeah. But now the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority is yes. saying that the land is theirs. Yes. So KCB has come out to say, well, this land was collateral. Yes. Mm. So if it's not their land <laughs> to begin with, then yes. we're going to lose our money. We need to figure so it out. the land Absolutely. court has enjoined... KCB with KCAA in fighting yes. yeah, yeah, Western. Yeah. Wow, the narrative continues. Yeah. Or, or is it a narrative? At what point does this, <laughs> does this start being I, I, real? I think, I think it's real. definitely a narrative yeah. at this point. Yes. You know, this is very systematic. He is a target. Mm. Yeah. And I think uh, the objective is to make sure that he, you know, is, is, is just... D disqualified. And you know what? Twenty twenty two. Yeah, Char character assassination happens when a bullet is too obvious. This you is how it is. happens. Yeah. Yeah. So but this, is, I'm reading a pattern here also. Yes. yes. For a long time, we've been hearing and seeing on headlines that Ruto is enjoined with corruption. Mm. Mm. But this week, the pattern is that it's now stopped being a conversation. It's being actual petitions that are being yeah. brought yeah. Yeah. to institutions. In front of yeah. Institutions. Yeah. 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 On Wednesday, it was the parliamentary yeah. accounting committee. Yeah. Yesterday, it was a petition or a letter from a group to the DCI copying yes. the DPP. Yes. And today it's the Lands Court. Mm. Yeah. So I just want to say that the Constitution does not protect the Deputy mm. President yes. mm. from mm. This mm. criminal mm. or civil legal action. Yeah. Legal mm. action. Mm. Yes. So Oof. he is exposed. Well, we yeah. do have a three-part criteria. We won't judge Ruto, but we will judge <laughs> the headline. <laughs> we will ask ourselves whether it is topical or speculative whether it is repetitive or groundbreaking, and whether it is thoughtful or just plain lazy. Mm -hmm. Well, Parking. someone has definitely put a lot of thought into, into this, this narrative for a long time, but we'll pack it for now. In the Daily Nation, how companies hide in havens to avoid tax? Yeah, so basically uh, what's happening here is that uh, a lot of Kenyan-owned uh, companies or co companies owned by Kenyans mm -hmm. uh, actually happen to be incorporated Out outside elsewhere. of the country yeah. for the sake of uh, avoiding tax. Mm -hmm. Yes, which and is legal. Which is legal. Yeah, Absolutely. it's within the tax regime yeah. and they found, I think most of these companies are setting up in Mauritius. Yes, yeah. in the British Virgin Islands. Yes. And, and just, just listen to this, for example, mm. corporate tax in Kenya is 30%. Um, in, a, in a country like uh, the British uh, Virgin Islands, it's 20% mm. withholding tax. Mm. Uh, no, no, actually, that's in Mauritius, sorry. In the British Virgin Islands, mm. there's no corporate tax. Wow. Yeah. There's no withholding tax and yeah. dividends, interest or royalties. Yeah. Right? So it, it actually so it makes sense. You can't blame them. You yeah. can't blame them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody who is, is keen to make money. Yeah, it's an, it's an intelligent profits, strategy to yes. take. Yes, sense. Sure. And, yeah. Yeah. and African tax regimes are so punitive, punitive and also contradictory because it doesn't translate to services and public goods. So, well, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. as they say, all is fair in love, war <laughs> and taxes. <laughs> <laughs> tax evasion <laughs> or avoidance. Tax avoidance. I mean, for me, I feel like it's it's a headline that's trying to spin it negatively. But if you're a good business person, you want to go where the tax regime is friendlier. Is, 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 is so maybe Kenya absolutely. needs to adopt yeah. 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 a friendlier it's tax, tax regime. regime. To absolutely. Re yeah. it On that sure. note, I, I personally thought yeah. this was topical, uh, uh, groundbreaking, yeah. and thoughtful. So we can park it. But let's park it. You guys, the, you like parking things. Okay. Parking basin. Getting full. In the star, KRA freezes accounts of 11 universities. Mm. So it turns out there are about 11 public universities that have not paid certain taxes. Yeah. The, b the bulk of these taxes are actually in pay as you earn remittances. Mm. So these universities have been, you know, um, their accounts have been frozen by KRA. But the, interestingly enough, new twist, 
they have come to some agreement with KRA mm. on how they will pay back. So, so far, mm. about 730 million ta um, shillings has, has been, paid, been back paid back to KRA. So now my question is, if they can come to the table with the universities, with the universities. why, why? can they? Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. can they come to the table with Humphrey Karaoke's yes. and the Tabitha Karanjas yeah. of Karachi? And especially since we've been saying, you yeah. know, what the government should have preferential treatment for indigenous capital. Yes. I mean, Precisely. if they don't, who's going yeah, to? Yeah. Exactly. To who will them? protect us? Yeah. yeah. But looks like uh, KRA is systematically going after categories we yeah have to the alcohol alcohol <laughs> then universities. Maybe next they'll go to hospitals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, for me. Uh, Toss the headline. I don't, oh, I I'm toss with it. you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Inspiring. So, so we have the two between the Daily Nation and the Standard. I think, I think this one is uneasy. I think we, yeah, I think we give it to the Daily Nation. To the Daily Nation. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Daily Nation gives us yeah. our winning yeah. headline. On to the political people. <laughs> the the that political we call movie. cartoons <laughs> in this country. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday, forgive me. <laughs> Where we also have a three-part criteria that we use. We ask ourselves whether it is humorous or dry, whether it is sarcastic or pessimistic, and whether it is effective or just plain lazy. Yes, mm. yes, yes. So in this first cartoon, yes. uh, we have the government spokesperson. His name is uh, Colonel, I think, uh, Cyrus Oguma. Mm. And he has been he's speaking to the country this whole week regarding the Likoni ferry tragedy. Mm. Um, and what this cartoon is depicting is basically, you know, all the... Uh, the well, blubbing. The, the blubbing that he's the doing. The gibberish. Making gibberish, making excuses. Yeah. yeah. What I did find funny is his tongue. His yeah. tongue yeah. is tongue very, heavy very with... Very reptilian. With lies yeah. and... Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. not even lies, just... <laughs> but, yeah. but to be fair, guys, this is his job, honestly. Mm. You know, to, to, to make a bad situation seem not so bad. But he didn't even do that because then he we have a Muzungu coming to... <laughs> yeah. Rescue. And <laughs> I don't think he's being good at his job because Why? there's ways you can make a bad situation better. Better, but mm. you can, there's ways you can make a bad situation worse. This is a very bad situation. The last thing you should do is make excuses. Yeah. So he's saying the reason why we haven't uh, retrieved the bodies is because of bad weather. Mm. I mean, you're the navy of a whole country. You're mm. not trained <laughs> to work in extreme conditions. Even if there Such was a storm, yeah. they should have been able to retrieve do those something. But, but bodies but by now. But remember, the army cannot go out of the barracks without the. Uh, orders of the chief of defense forces. So there's nothing that uh, the military should have done. <laughs> he's, well, he's on that the note, government. Uh, guys, do anyway. you like the cartoon? Uh, yes, I like him. Yeah. Yeah? <coughs> Shall we but park so, so. it? Let's park it. Let's park it. Let's see what everyone else has. Right. So, Casso. I assume it's Kaso. Yes, it's Kaso. Yes. Kaso has taken us to a beauty parlor. <laughs> um, on one side, we can see Boris with his lovely yellow mop on his head, <laughs> blonde mop. Yeah. And then on the other side, you can see Trump with his signature long tie. Mm. And the barber says, I'm noticing a trend here. And there's an and onlooker the, yeah, at the yeah, back. And there's an onlooker in the back. I think that's Kim Jong-un, mm. yes. uh, mm. the leader of uh, North Korea. Yeah. So what is and the... In the corner, it says, Akili Ninyuele Kweli. Yeah. What is the trend? <laughs> that, what is the trend? What I think the trend is that I mean maybe the people with weird hairstyles are, are crazy. Uh, you know, or have uh, so basically uh, Boris is have is facing a stalemate in uh, Parliament. Uh, Trump is facing impeachment. Yeah. And then the guy in the back always does his own thing. Anyway. And yeah, and la guy. lately um, yeah, launching a. So the lowest missile. common denominator here is, is their haircuts and their also their okay, weird haircuts. haircuts and also the way they choose to lead. I don't know if I like it. Ah, it's too much. Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> we toss? Just tossing toss in All the right. star. So in the star, we've got a, a tree. Is this what you call a tree? A stump? Stump, yes. stump, right? And then you've got a little tree growing out of it. And the caption there is sent Sybil in, in brackets. It also says cut down big business. And on the other side, it says smaller entities thrive. And this, uh, and it says in the middle, Top betting companies, and I think this is the context of the top betting companies, Betin and Sports Kenya, which have left. Sports Pesa. S Sports Pesa, sorry, yeah. which have left. Uh, and this actually agrees with my philosophy. I don't like the cartoon. But it's the philosophy is, 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 is brilliant, you know. Yeah. The, if the big companies leave, that will leave room for people like you and I. And but also, I to feel also like set up betting companies. No, but big, capture business, market but share. big business also creates an ecosystem of money that flows everywhere. So mm. if they More leave people employed, also I worry about that. But anyways. I don't like the cartoon. The cartoon, <laughs> the cartoon is <laughs> disastrous. It's a comic strip. It looks so, like uh, a yeah. sign in a factory this with all the words. That leaves us with Dula for the Daily Nation. Yeah. Yes. giving us our winning her too. So we have a double win again. And now for our final thought. 
This week, we've been looking at entrepreneurs and innovators, and I'll give you a quick summary. On Monday, we looked at Upstarts by Bradstone, where we saw how Uber and Airbnb took traditional businesses and added te technology to them mm -hmm. and solved the problem to our daily lives, and that's why they remain so successful. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday, we looked at Nike, the founder, Phil Knight, with his memoir called Shoe Dog. He taught us many things, including failing fast and grow or die, the importance of passion, innovation, and overcoming failure, having the growth mindset. On Wednesday, we looked at the hard thing about hard things by Ben Horowitz, where we saw that there's no simple formula for success. Mm. However, if you embrace the struggle and don't give up, success will surely follow. We saw the difference between a wartime CEO and a peacetime CEO and the importance of that. Mm. And, and yesterday, we looked at the entrepreneurial spirit of a whole nation, Israel in Startup Nation, how a whole country promotes high growth entrepreneurship and how it has the highest density of startups in the, in the world. world. In the world. Yes. Yeah, that and was an amazing book. Yes, and today? Today we're looking at The Originals, a yes. book by Adam Grant, yeah. who is a psychologist and an author, and he wrote this book in 2016. Mm -hmm. yes. So in this book, Grant uses a combination of research and historic anecdotes to explain what makes an idea successful, but mm. more importantly, what makes a person who creates successful ideas? Mm. And this is who he calls the originals mm. or creative geniuses. Mm. So he wrote this book to debunk his own myth yeah. because he thought that originals, these creative geniuses, yeah. are born, like people are born with yeah. talent yeah. and uh, genius. Yeah. But then he found out that they're actually built, they're yeah. actually mm. made. Yeah. Good news mm. for all of us who exactly. can all be creative geniuses. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So one of the thoughts in the book is that most leaders in most industries have more bad ideas than, than their good. peers, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Than, than other people yeah. in the same industries as, wow. as them. So yeah. the way you become an original yeah. is by generating variety. And the best way to variety is sheer volume. volume. Mm. So he gives examples of a lot of people in different um, industries and even historically. He says yeah. Picasso, for instance, who has masterpieces that the whole world knows, mm. had... Um, he, it took him like 1,800 paintings, wow. 1,200 sculptures, mm. and 2,800 ceramics, yeah. and 12,000 drawings in order 12, to get thousand drawings. 12,000 drawings in order to get those few masterpieces, masterpieces that yeah. the world yeah. knows yeah. and, and loves. Wow. This book rem or this concept reminded me of Malcolm Gladwell's uh, concept, the 10,000 hours, that yes. people yeah. need to generate 10,000 hours in order to build a skill and get very good at it and yeah. so get ahead of a yeah. curve. In the book Outliers. Yeah. In the book yeah. Outliers. Yeah. But while My Malcolm Gladwell was talking about skill, mm. um, Grant is, act is talking about um, ideas. Yes. And yeah. I think yeah. it's the exact same thing. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it yeah. follows. Yeah. So he also um, reference, references Einstein, who transformed physics with just two papers about relativity. Yeah. Yeah. But he had written 248 papers that wow. we have, that we know nothing we about. Don't know, yeah. So it's about slog. Yeah. Mm. Any African examples you can think of? Uh. I know a Kenyan one. Yeah. The a family called the Kabus. Oh yes, <laughs> bonfire, ben bonfire yeah. adventures. Yeah. You yeah. know, we're always talking about how in Kenya we have so many foreign startups and companies that come in and organize our industry mm. and yeah. have these brilliant ideas, mm. like Airbnb or Uber or whatnot. Yeah. But these guys yeah. found an idea yeah. in um, creating cheap but good holidays, yes, affordable for yeah. Kenyans. Yeah. Yeah. But I also yeah. saw their background and they've been serial entrepreneurs. These They've are people tried that many have things. Tried yeah. So yeah. many things. Yeah. And finally, something that worked and it was a creative genius idea. Yes. So most people believe that there's a trade-off between quality and quantity. Mm. But what he's telling us, and he references this uh, psychologist called Dean Simonton, mm. studies shown that creative, uh, and who has studied creative geniuses, mm -hmm. he says the odds of producing an influential or successful idea are a positive function of uh, the total number of ideas mm. generated. Wow. Mm. So there's a direct correlation. correlation. Mm. Yeah. So put in work. So moral of the story, guys, yeah. put in work. Yeah. Yeah. Do it as many times as you can. Yes. Yeah. Try and try again. A magnificent again. idea that <laughs> yeah. will propel you to fame and fortune <laughs> exactly. will come. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> That's good. And, and so the other thing he talks about, mm. in addition to what you've said, mm. is uh, going against the grain. Mm. Unfortunately, many of us in life go through you know, we go through life without going against the grain. And yeah. 
that yeah. holds us back from yeah. realizing our full potential. Yeah, mm. because it's uh, easier. Uh, it's precisely, easier. it's yeah. easier, yeah. right? Easy yeah. and, and what he asks us to do in the book is to, we constantly have to find the faults in defaults. Mm. Now, let me explain, right? Mm -hmm. He says, he recounts a story of a consultant who was hired to find out why some customer service agents stayed at a firm longer than others. Mm. Okay. And so he turned to some rather peculiar data yeah. uh, to establish why. Mm. So the questionnaires that uh, the employees would fill, he had yeah. asked them to state the browser that they had used uh, to apply for the job. Oh, so okay. the internet browser. The internet Online. browser, yeah. precisely, yeah. Mm -hmm. And alas, it actually gave him some pretty interesting results. Mm -hmm. He found that employees who used Firefox and Google Chrome <laughs> remained in their jobs 15% longer than those who used Internet Explorer or Safari. I use Google <laughs> Chrome. <All right. laughs> I'm staying longer. You're okay, staying, you're staying longer. longer. What about you? You're staying power. I use Chrome as well. Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm on yeah. Mac. Yeah. And, and here's and here's why. Yeah. If you own a PC, um, Internet Explorer is built into your computer. If mm. you own a Mac, uh, MacBook, Safari, Safari, Safari is, is also yeah. is also up there. But if you, um, but but there's, and so for for some of the for the other employees who would now stay fifteen percent longer, mm. they went out of their way to mm. download to download Google yeah. Chrome yeah. to download Firefox. Yeah. yeah. And because and they thought there must be a better thing out there. Precisely. And yeah. he says that little act of initiative yeah. uh, really gives a window into somebody's uh, personality okay. and how they're able to confront challenges at the workplace. Mm. And so, you know, for the about 85% who would end up quitting on their jobs, mm. um, those are people who, when faced with challenges yeah. regarding customer uh, uh, complaints and that kind of thing, yeah. were not proactive enough. Wow. They just stuck to their, uh, you know... Status quo. That is yeah. so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so what he's asking us in sum, he's telling us that, first of all, he's telling us that we live in an Internet Explorer world. Right? <laughs> Many of us end up accepting the defaults in our own lives. Yeah. But instead of doing that, we ought to question, challenge, reject, and change our circumstances, our like status quo, like if that. we're not happy with it. Yes. And that reminded me as well of a quote yes. mm -hmm. by, an, it's actually, this is actually from a book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's actually the title of a book by a guy called Paul Arden. And he says, it's not how good you are, it's how good you want to be. To be. Ah, right? So you are your own uh, limitation. If, mm. if, if you don't want to succeed oh, in life. Fantastic. Yeah. And the other thing that he tells us, and it's a thing that he says you should challenge, is procrastination mm. and how you view it. So everybody is told you can't procrastinate, do the task, get it out of the way, yeah. do the next thing. Now he tells us procrastination can actually be a good thing. This, right? book, this book is full of good news. Yes. So, <laughs> and he, so he, so he, he, he posits that when you postpone a task, you buy yourself time to engage in something he calls divergent thinking. Yes. So it allows you to consider a wider range of original concepts or even just ways to accomplish the task ahead of you. Yeah. Right. And he says that procrastination may be the enemy of productivity, but it is a resource of creativity. And he gives a brilliant example of the Mona Lisa. Yeah. So Leonardo da Vinci took 16 years to finish painting the Mona Lisa. Mm. And people, his critics would always be like, oh, he's just distracted, he's, he's, lazy. Other, he's lazy, he's not really focusing on it. But what he was doing was actually in other interests and in other pursuits, he was honing his artistic skills. Yeah. He, was, yeah. he, he had a lot of stuff to do with light and how light hits different um, mm. parts of a painting. Mm. And so he was perfecting his technique. Mm. So by the end, Mona Lisa becomes this masterpiece, yeah. right? Yeah. But it took 16 years of procrastinating. Now the interesting he says is, people, it's called the Zygernik effect. Mm -hmm. People have a better memory for incomplete tasks mm -hmm. than complete tasks. So once mm -hmm. a task is finished, you forget about it. You yeah. close the, you close the, the box in your head and you move on. Yeah. Mm. But when it's incomplete and you go about your daily life, it's subconsciously giving you ideas. Yeah. So your, your RAM You're is working. working on it yeah. without yeah. you even consciously knowing. And so he implores people to keep doing that. Yeah. Keep a task there and you'll see whether you'll get some more creativity by yeah. the time you um, finish your task this so that you get a better stuff. idea. So next time your boss asks you for a report, <laughs> yeah, it's the Zygonist effect. Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> it's cooking. Yeah, it's and, cooking. And, yeah and, and, and there's another thing he calls season freeze. A lot uh, of people, you start doing one thing and then you feel like you've gone too far. So yeah. you don't want to start again. Mm. And so you seize onto that one, one idea. Yeah. Yet maybe another idea would have been better had you given it time 
or start it afresh. Mm. So we implore you, start afresh. Uh, yeah. Don't be afraid to keep trying yeah. um, and build that body of work for whatever it is that you're doing. Brilliant. Yes. So That's on a day cool. where we had a double win, Daily Nation and, uh, and, Daily, and Nation. Daily Nation, yeah. <laughs> I want to leave you with this. As we've looked at entrepreneurs and innovators this week, there have been many lessons to learn. In whatever your endeavors are, remember this, being original does not require being first. Mm -hmm. It just means being different and possibly being better. Mm -hmm. So have a good weekend and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for us on TV. We're on GoTV, Star Times and Pan, Pan Free, Free to, to Air. air. <laughs> have a good weekend. <laughs>